when, when the sheltering system started in Finland in 1920s, uh, the main point was to keep you alive, not to keep you entertained. So it is rough, it is really rough if we need to shelter, but you stay alive. And that's the main point. My name is Tomi Rask and I'm working as a uh, preparedness teacher in uh, Helsinki City Rescue Department. The first barrier of, of, the, of the safety is the corridor where you came in. It is descending and it is curving, so it, the corridor itself takes the most of the blast away. And after that there is firstly uh, the blast-proof barricade and after that there is a gas-proof barricade. The shelter is for 6,000 persons. It is uh, constructed in 2003. Any known uh, uh, weapon effects should be uh, that uh, should be on our uh, range, even direct hit. So this is one specimen of, of the toilet unit, and so all the markings on the floor should uh, contain one one unit. And the unit is uh, con uh, connected to the uh, ventilation system, so the odors of the toilet mostly go out of, outside of the shelter. Six thousand persons. There would be a lot of odors. Radiation comes in two forms, straight radiation and fallout radiation. So we can filter out the fallout with the, with the um, ventilation system on, on filters, but the straight radiation is uh, absorbed to the uh, bedrock. So we are in, in really good uh, shelter from, from the straight radiation because of the bedrock is so thick above, uh, above us and, and around us. The bedrock is so solid that you need to blast it. You, you cannot just drill it. Uh, the caving technologies and the caving know-how in, in Finland is really high for this type of, uh, of bedrock. If we know that, that uh, there is con uh, possible of contamination uh, on, on the city, uh, we need to con decontaminate the uh, contaminated persons that are coming inside of the shelter. Uh, with water and, and brushes and, and soap. So this is the one of the main sheltering halls. All these halls are divided in smaller uh, sheltering rooms by uh, light equipment and by light structures to keep uh, the person uh, to feeling as secure, as secure as possible. Most of our shelters have dual use, so, so for now, it is an, as a sports center. By legislation, we have 72 hours time, time frame to get the shelter, uh, shelter ready. We don't provide food. We provide air and water and shelter. And that's it. Humans are, are <clears throat> constructed so that uh, we can survive without air approximately three minutes. And we can survive without water approximately three days. And we can survive without food approximately three weeks. So human being, being doesn't need food for, for, for weeks. So again, it is, it, this isn't a hotel. We don't have a breakfast buffet. We provide the necess necessities to keep you alive. War is, is one, th one thing that is on our threat assessment. It is the uh, most likely not to happen, but it still is a threat. Uh, if the war happens to Finland, the effect to the people are so enormous that we need to take some measures against it. And that's what I have been taught by, by my, my folks and, and they have been taught by, by their folks who went to the war. The most common thing for everyone inside of the shelter is the fear. And the fear is universal. It doesn't divide us by uh, color of our skin or, or uh, by our religion or, or by, our, by the way we talk or, or the language. Uh, it is universal and, and it, it's, it is joint. So that um, joins us together. We all are afraid of, of, of the situation outside. Uh, the fear unites us.